Alrighty, accusations are flying in the Brett Favre sexting scandal. Both sides now accusing the other of bringing up money to try to keep things quiet. And uh, Ray, for obviously, there ain't nothing being kept quiet anywhere. No, anytime. nothing is being kept quiet. There's been whispers about this. Yeah. And I just got off the phone with Jen Sturger's manager moments ago, who claims that when he spoke to Brett Favre's agent, Buzz Cook, Cook brought up a cash settlement to keep Sturger quiet. Cook says, no, it was the other way around. Sturger's manager's Phil Reese said the reason he contacted Cook is because he, when the, uh, the story was coming out, he said, quote, I was concerned because I didn't know exactly what was going to be coming out, and I knew that it wasn't going to be good for everyone involved. He, Cook, asked me if there was a specific figure in mind that could make this go away. Well, Cook told the Associated Press, no, no, no. It was Sturger's manager and lawyer that have made numerous overtures to me. Anybody can figure out why. The point is, we were never going to pay them. We didn't pay them, and we never will pay them because there is no reason to pay them. I've reached out to Cook. I'm waiting for a response. Wow. <laughs> Another great comeback story involving a top honor in sports. Texas Rangers slugger Josh Hamilton went from battling drugs and alcohol to becoming the American League's most valuable player, and it's amazing because he was out of the game for two full years while he lost his battle to his demons. Now he is considered the league's best player. For more about his inspiring story, Cliff Corcoran has a great article on it on SI.com. And lastly, quickly, everything really is better in Texas, at least when it comes to that guy. Look at this guy's hat. This is not a costume. We think, we think this is how this guy dresses. Uh, the Mavericks were hosting Detroit, and Tracy McGrady of the Pistons is so overcome with this man's outfit that he has to go and touch it. He's really? like, yeah, look at him. He goes, and the guy's like, there you it's go, sir. Whole outfit. Look at him. He's got the, the chaps and the whole thing. McGrady's like, look at that. All new sports in the next half hour. Now you know how to get a basketball player to rub your leg. Oh, and Dallas won the game. Wait, Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to know that. All righty. Gotta love Texas. Gotta <laughs> love Texas. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Chrissy, a huge travel day at the.